In addition to the developments here in the United States, there's been a surprise meeting on the Korean Peninsula. The leaders of North and South Korea came together last night. This after President Trump seemingly warmed back up to the idea of the June 12th summit with Kim Jong-un. And with that, we go to Greg Palcott in Seoul, South Korea. Hi, Greg. Hey, Leland. Yeah, taking place uh, here this weekend, a possible important development in efforts to bring peace to this region. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and South Korean President Moon Jae-in meeting along the DMZ as they did just one month ago, this time on the North Korean side. The session lasting about two hours. We are told in addition to inter-Korean matters, there was a, quote, frank and candid exchange of views as to how to achieve a successful summit involving President Trump and North Korean leader Kim. That summit, remember, was basically canceled on Thursday by the White House and then revived on Friday. Saturday's meeting is seen by some experts here as the clearest signal yet that a June 12th Singapore session could be back on. This, again, amid reports that advanced teams from both sides are heading towards Singapore. Now, South Korean President Moon met with President Trump this past Tuesday. There is some talk here that he was carrying a message from Trump to Kim. But also perhaps Moon, who has become a really important go-between for both sides, could have pushed Kim on Saturday to further commit to denuclearization. That, of course, is the core issue of any future talks with the North. Remember this week we witnessed what the North claimed was the dismantlement of its one known nuclear test site in the northeastern corner of this country. That was seen as a goodwill gesture, but there were no experts on the ground to confirm this. I think, Leland, we can confirm at the very least there was a meeting between the North and South. There was handshakes, there were smiles, there were hugs. Perhaps that warm feeling can translate into a more important summit and maybe a little peace here. Back to you, Leland. Yeah, and we've seen so quickly how the peace and warm feelings can fall apart. Greg Palcott in Seoul, South Korea, watching things as they develop by the hour.